Howdy folks, welcome back to Ty Roaster's Garage, but more importantly, welcome to one of the most legendary music festivals on the planet, otherwise known as Shambhala. So I'm gonna bring you along for a first time Shamers experience. You're gonna check the place out alongside with me, my reactions to each stage, and well, you're gonna figure out if maybe you wanna come out to Shambhala one year. As you can see, the place is absolutely just packed. There's a lot to see here, there's a lot to do. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. We're turning in, turning in for what? Here we go! Ow! Drive slow to keep the dust down. A lot of dodges in here, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Four hours sleep. Worth it. A little bit of 9.30 a.m. boozing. <laughs> in starlight apparently she's pretty gangster buddy we are pumped oh we're running hot too she's been a cooking day a cooking day a cooking day oh, cooking day let's get in there set up and uh let's hit the river let's hit the river buddy she's a packed day down the river today but russ says it gets way more packed than this oh yeah buddy this is only what are we wednesday now wednesday we paid the early entry fee for tuesday got in early and uh dope look this guy's got a sound box on his back Oh, dude, I'll go grab my sound box. Let's connect them together. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Is that fully charged? <laughs> fully charged. I'll go grab mine and we'll pair them together and you can play your, you can play your shit. I can't hear a fucking word you're saying. <laughs> Just smile and nod. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> drinks and get these so this is amphitheater and uh yeah buddy let's get into her Thank <laughs> you. 
first night with music so far. How you feeling? Fabulous. That's a lot of PK wattage. Oh. <laughs> you really gotta have these uh, hearing protections in because if you don't, buddy, you ain't gonna have ears when you're older. Let me tell you a little something. Over to the living room we go. First time Shawmers, long time listener. This is so dope, dude. Wow, wow, wow. Can't even get down to the stage because you're meeting people, seeing friends from other festivals. I've already seen like 20 people in the last three days from just different festivals and shit. And um, yeah, it's just like keep mingling and shit. Can't even get to a stage. We're having so much fun, man. Oh, man, we're on a walk tonight, eh, Whit? I forgot it. We're on a walk. We're on a fucking tour. We're on a tour. Where are we going? We're going to Fractal? No, we're not going to Fractal Forest. We're going to Wyatt and Lex's to get Wyatt and Lex. Then we're going to Fractal Forest and we're going to experience it for the first time. And you're going to come along for the ride here on Tyler Roaster's Garage. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's like a Star Wars themed forest with a bunch of laser lights and shit. And I'm going to go in there tripping balls. Fuck yeah. All right, so this is our first time entering Grove and the village. Kind of excited to see what's going on in here. Definitely looks cool. Definitely sets a vibe. Oh, buddy. during the day, but I come in at night because well, they're all lit up and they're way crazier. And uh, it gives you more of the psychedelic experience. Once again, you're going to see my first time reaction to walking into a stage for the first time at Shambhala. Man, Fractal Forest looks dope. We're waiting until 10 to go into there. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, so this is the village, I guess. Wow. Holy 
shit, dude. Oh. oh, it's just the granddaddy of bush stuff, see? Unreal. grounds where we're gonna meet Wyatt and Lex and then we're gonna go into fractal forest for the first time um, at nighttime because that's dope so we haven't even got into pagoda yet um, we're heading over here to meet our friends go to fractal forest first and then we'll be going in here later on tonight but it's a quick little pit tease Obviously, it's nighttime, so I'm checking this place out first time in the night. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get in here. Oh, dude, what is going on?
unreal. Fractal Forest is a vibe. Alright, so we're heading towards Pagoda. As you can see, it is just unbelievable. Alright folks. This is my first time walking into Pagoda and buddy. Oh, oh. right on the D4 giving her sleeping in an inner tube now this guy's smart oh yeah he got back by 7 a.m. 5 a.m. <laughs> 5 30 yeah Dope. you make the choice DJ super glue not dropping sets but dancing to him Dope. Right. here's Colin Colin's dope Colin's a DJ but he's not playing here this year even though I really want him to oh, please. but he's going to he's going to one of these years we'll podcast again soon too right What's your podcast? I'm really glad you're here. True Glue Talks, baby. True Glue Talks. What's your DJ name? DJ Superglue. DJ Superglue. Where can people find you? Spotify. Check out his music, dude. It's vibing. Daytime at Shambhala. This is Colin's, what, 10th time here? Seven. Seventh time. You've been coming for 10 years, though, or 12 years since uh, you first came? Yeah, 11, no, uh, 12 years ago. DJ. It has changed. It keeps being progressively great. So I keep getting surprised. As we evolve, we're just getting greater and greater. As, uh, as I'm even getting greater at music, they are too. And the laser guy and the mini donuts guy. We gotta stop get a dozen. <laughs> Can't forget about the mini donut guy and the laser guys. The laser guys make the show happen. Important. Wait, mint, minty. Wait. Minty. Min Friggin' mint. Minty. <laughs> So let's start counting the beautiful people. We got, we got one, we got two, three. We should count them in dozens, probably. <laughs> just like donuts. Just like donuts, just like mini 12, donuts. 24. I, I've lost count. Um, so what we'll do is we'll measure in meters. So we have about one meter here of beauty, and then together two, uh, three. I'll be uh, almost two, so that's five meters of beauty so far around us. <laughs> five meters of beauty. Body.
Watch your elbows and all that shit. Be nice, you know, floaty fun, floaty fun. You know, being out of work for two years and supply chains and all that dumb shit, fuck. It's been tough, man, so. I'm afraid this year, I, I only have eyes for you. Grant us eyes. Grant us eyes. eyes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting these silly things that I do. I hope you find them as entertaining as I am. This song, like so many original other songs, is written about a woman. The interesting part is, I don't know who the woman is. It's called High Expectation. So I have a few things I want to say here before we wrap this video up. First of all, thanks for watching. And if you got any value out of the video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Smash that like button. Do all the good stuff you do to show your support here on Ty Roaster's Garage. And secondly, Sean Blois was way more than I could have ever expected and or dreamed. I've been going to the bush stuff in the interior of BC, around Squamish and stuff over on the island for like probably two years now. And I've been catching all the mini Sean Blois vibes and hearing all about it through all the pandemic and all that stuff. So when I went there, I had a certain expectation. I was like, this is going to be cool. This is going to be something special for sure. Um, and everyone kept calling it home. And I'm like, it's going to be something cool. But I could not have imagined how cool this music festival seriously was. Like everything from like the, the music, sound quality, the people, the laser lights, the overall atmosphere was just like a mind blowing experience for me and Whitney. I highly suggest you come check this thing out at least once in your life because it'll probably blow your mind too. If I could sum up my whole Shambhala experience with one word, that one word, that one word would be home. I finally understand why they call this place home. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next episode of Ty Roaster's Garage. <laughs>